I'm Sean Catton. Uh, I'm a retired agricultural advisor in Westport and uh, I spent all my life uh, dealing with hill sheep and uh, uh, a few years ago uh, we heard about these cladors and I took an interest in them and that's uh, where we start. Yeah. Well, the Plado um, uh, sheep survived basically because uh, nobody thought it worth their while to improve them. Uh, the Congested Districts Board in 1892, when they produced their baseline report for South Connemara, there were uh, 2,300 sheep. But uh, the uh, in inspector who wrote the report, uh, he was very disparaging about the quality of the sheep and he said it would be better if they got out of the sheep altogether rather than trying to keep them. Uh, he didn't name the sheep, he didn't put a name on the breed but that wasn't unusual. Uh, but he didn't suggest that they be crossed with the, an improved breed uh, which, uh, which he normally did. Uh, he, he said that uh, this flock were barely maintaining themselves. They had to survive on the shore and there was very little room. Uh, it was very little grass for stock because uh, uh, it was very thickly populated and most of the land would have been tilled. But uh, the Plador survived and uh, in the 1970s then, uh, Mick O'Toole, when he was manager of the Agriculture Institute farm at uh, Mam, he bought a flock of these uh, what looked like clathers and uh, they were sent in to Korea uh, to be uh, bred up. But they didn't make any progress breeding the clathers in, uh, in, in Korea and they were sent back again to Mam. And uh, they were kept on in Mam then uh, until Mam closed. In 1987 and Michael O'Toole moved as manager to Korea and he brought the Tladors with them. But Michael retired a few years afterwards and uh, uh, sometime after Michael retired uh, the Tladors were sold um, without Michael's knowledge and he was very disappointed about that and we thought uh, at that stage that the Tladors was lost. But uh, Tom King uh, one might describe as a non-conventional farmer in, in Westport took an interest in the Cladors and he bought a, a flock and uh, Tom had this flock for sale in uh, 19, uh, 2019, two years ago and uh, Tom uh, comes from a line of cattle dealers and uh, uh, he thought the best uh, price he might get for these crossbreds was uh, from the national park to sell them to the state and uh, he convinced uh, William Cormack and, and Martin Kine to buy his stock and uh, last year then they bought uh, some more stock in South Connemara and 65 of those were DNA tested last back end and 56 of them turned out to have significant uh, DNA that they hadn't found before. 32, 30 years and 26 rams and uh, they were bred in the National Park last year and they now have 32 lambs. So that's where we go from here.